So, um, here's an update, a short update, hopefully. Uh, what I'm planning on doing now is I uh, finally got the <laughs> urge to paint and ballast uh, the yard here in Lincoln Yard. Um, so anyway, uh, I've started uh, painting the rails, and if you look, see how much smaller the rail in the background looks than the Code 70 rail in the front? So uh, the one thing that I didn't do that I probably should have, especially on this yard track back there, the industrial track was take out some of the ties. But what I'll do is paint the ties, I'll dry brush the top of the ties a gray color. So, and then I added the, the uh, dirt there um, before I realized that I should have been painting the rails first. So anyway, you can see the big difference in what happens when you paint your rail. So, um, pretty cool uh, that uh, Kiss Glue I, I got. Really good uh, super glue. It has actually a bit of a uh, flexibility to it. Glues pretty much everything together. It was actually made for holding prosthetics together. And you can get that off of Amazon if you want. It's uh, fairly expensive, maybe $15 a bottle. Uh, that's a company my wife works at. Uh, and uh, the bottles are very... very the, the glue is really nice. They do tend to um, uh, stick to the top, so you have to be careful about how you use them and store them. I keep them in the refrigerator. So, and then I'm painting the, the track with this uh, Mission Models Dark Rust. So, um, uh, I could use a different color, but I like, right now I'm thinking the Dark Rust looks really good. So, that's how I'm gonna proceed. Uh, and in a few days here, I've got to go back to work tomorrow at White Rose. Um, but I'll get back to you with uh, the final uh, results of how it looks. So, anyway, take care. Well, I, I shouldn't say take care, but uh, anyway, I'll show you the results here in a little bit. All right, bye. So, um, after I, the first coat's now dry, and it's not nearly as dark as it was when I put it on. So... Uh, actually looks a little better. It was awfully dark before. So it dried to a nice, nice rust color. So, um, and somebody at the store asked me the other day, uh, you know, what I use to, to brush on there. So what I do is, this is just a brush I have, just a flat brush. Um, I forget who the manufacturer is, but um, you can kind of see it there. But anyway, I uh, just dip that in the paint. Um and just uh, start painting the sides. So, you know, it's as simple as that, really. And I, I put it on kind of thick because the paint doesn't want to adhere real well. So, because um, it's metal and it's acrylic, uh, but it, it works pretty well. So just to give you a difference of what happens there, I'll continue with this and then I'm probably gonna put, uh, after I get all the track and the, and the uh, ties weathered, uh, I can go from here. In fact, uh, give me a second here, and I'll actually weather the, show you the weathering, uh, how I weather the ties in the back. Um, and you'll notice that I didn't here uh, clean the rails off all the way to the back because uh, the wheels would, uh, the wheels on the car would never reach back that far. So, and I did forget to paint the uh, wheel stop. So, anyway, uh, give me a second here. Be right back. Now, I try to use the paint very sparingly in this area where I don't coat these rails real thick like I do the rest of the track. But hopefully you can see it. Now you can see there's no paint right there where the contacts are. These are Shinohara switches, so you need to make sure that you don't paint. They they rely on that contact there to for the paint to go. I mean, for the electricity to go. So... Uh, I might have gotten a little bit too much paint here, but I can, I'll, I'll use the file and get that off in a few minutes. But um, you, it hides all your track leads coming up because uh, it all kind of blends together and everything. So, uh, And then <clears throat> I'll, I'll coat those two contacts, those throws across there. And you need to be careful in here, too, that you don't get too much uh, paint in that area, too. So just a heads up while you're painting your track. So what I decided to use is another Mission Models. I had a light gold green, gray that I could use. Uh, and then I just dipped the brush in that, get a little bit of paint on it, take most of it off, and to just lightly go over the, whoops, 
lightly over the uh, ties here. And at first it looks kind of bad, um, but it'll dry a lot lighter than it, it does here. So, and in essence, that's all you do to, to weather your ties. So, uh, yeah, you do the outsides too, I'll have to do that. But anyway, um, it, it's gonna look really good when it's done. So, uh, uh, I'll do some, uh, you know, a little bit more work here and, um, you know, maybe, uh, uh, well, I'll show you putting down some of the grounds foam or the, you know, the ground cover and uh, it's going to put a little bit of bushes and stuff in between the tracks too. So uh, I'll come back uh, and add on to this video with that. So what I wanted to show you is this uh, yard track that goes up between the, uh, between the arrival departure tracks and the caboose track. I uh, weathered the ties heavier. I use Code 55 rail. I have dirt coming up between the tracks. I have vegetation coming up you know, between the tracks, or the ties, I mean, um, and use the darker ballast, and uh, didn't put the ballast in as heavy. And uh, I think what I might do in the future is uh, just come back and add some static grass in there uh, around the sides of the rail and up between the ties. So just wanted to show you that. It uh, comes out pretty well when you, looks pretty cool when you do that, so. Well, I finally, Got the uh, yard ballasted. Uh, took me a little longer than I wanted to. Uh, I still haven't glued it in, which I need to do. Um, but uh, uh, it sort of looks better than it did before I started. So, uh, and unfortunately, as for me, I, uh, I did not scenic the area back there first. So I definitely have to glue this in or I'm gonna, it'll mess up the ballast for sure. So anyway, um, the ballast is all in. There's a little weathering I need to do or want to do. I mean, um, so you can see it actually looks uh, looks pretty cool. Um, and it, doesn't, it really doesn't take all that long to do. I, uh, I've just been busy with a lot of other things. Uh, these tracks here are the engine tracks. So what I want to do is uh, once I get it glued in, I'll come back with some uh, probably denatured alcohol and any ink and make a dirty spot down the middle where oil's dripping and things like that. So, uh, but it's, it's working well and uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, I gotta do some more scenicing up here, um, but I, I don't wanna do the front right away, you know, obviously, cause they're reaching across it. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's one of the things I've been doing. And then uh, just as another uh, little update, I finally, Got around to um, deciding what I wanted to do here. This is now a beer distributor. Uh, so I've taken the pike stuff uh, and what I did before, uh, the, the engines didn't run or the cars didn't go inside the building. So I started to get that done, sort of scratch building a little bit, uh, you know, put piecing things together. Uh, I just put in the loading dock today. Um, so obviously I need to get the roof and stuff on, but I need uh, some other materials. Uh, so hopefully I can pick that up at the shop tomorrow. Uh, here's a great crossing that I have going in uh, so the tr uh, vehicles can access it. Before I really didn't have an access point because the building was right up against the wall there. So, uh, and actually I, I showed, I kind of showed where they cut the track here. The, the track used to keep going. So I'll try and put a photograph back there or something that matches the tracks so that uh you know it looks like it's going off into the weeds or something so um yeah so it's uh things are coming along i'm actually getting things done uh despite golf and and the job and family things so uh i hope you enjoy this video i know you got to be tired of seeing me and brian for a while but i i do have a few more videos to post on that but i think right now uh, i'll post this one with how i did the the weathering of the track there in, in lincoln yard uh, to kind of give you a break from just me and Brian. So uh, anyway, take care all and have a great, well, I should see you before, uh, I should post something before the end of the summer. So anyway, take care.